Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Group Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, I have a review of the Climate Static V Insulated Ultra Light Sleeping Pad. Now this was made in conjunction with Mass Drop. So this is a special edition, in other words. Everybody, get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now folks, you may be wondering what is Mass Drop. MassDrop.com is a very cool site where it's really a series of communities of people who get together to purchase like a bulk order of products. So you could be part of the ultralight community and go in together to purchase a lot, a bulk order of sleeping pads, just like this here. And when you do this, you get it for a cheaper price because of the size of the order. It's a really cool site. It's very well known, tons of people there. And it also tailors towards more than just the outdoor crowd. There's also electronics and photography and so on. So make sure to check that out. This review here was made possible thanks to Mastrop. They sent this in for T&E, which I have been doing for the last couple of months. So with that being said, let's get to it. So right here we have it. This is the Climate Static V insulated ultra light sleeping pad. This is the insulated version. There is a non-insulated version, which is a little bit cheaper and we'll get to the price here in just a little bit. But take a look at this thing. It is nice and small. Let me get a water bottle to show this in comparison. So right here is my one liter water bottle and right here is the sleeping pad. So check that out. The water bottle is taller. The sleeping pad's just a little bit bigger. Very small form factor. Also, this is very lightweight at 16.9 ounces on my scale. It also has a very high R value of 4.4. It does come with a stuff sack, which weighs about half an ounce. Here is the sleeping pad itself. Let's set it up. Now, one of the really cool things about this sleeping pad is that it takes almost no effort at all to blow it up. Eight to 12 breaths is what they claim. And guess what? They're absolutely right. Watch this. There you go, all blowed up, nine breaths. So when it comes to the stats for the Climate Static V insulated ultralight sleeping pad from climate and mass drop. The fabric here is a 20 denier nylon. The color is a stealth green on top and a black on the bottom, which I really like. It looks good. It also looks a little bit gray at the same time. As mentioned, this is an insulated sleeping pad and it features 60 grams of synthetic insulation, which is good for the three seasons, maybe up to four, depending on where you are at and where you are camping at. The R value is 4.4. The dimensions here when inflated is 72 inches long by 20 inches wide and it offers you two and a half inches of cushion. When it's all packed up, it is eight inches by four inches. And once again, the weight, 16.9 ounces. Absolutely perfect. Extremely comfortable. Now with this sleeping pad here, as mentioned, it is 72 inches long and it is 20 inches wide, which means it's a good size, but it's not huge by any means. So if you are a really big individual, this may not be the sleeping pad for you. For most people, it will work just fine. This is based upon the original Climate uh, Static V design, which is really well known, one size fits all, and this is a very popular pad for many reasons. All right, well, we've talked about this pad. We've gone over the stats. Let's move to the review portion. I've been testing this out for a couple of months now and I've used it for roughly 15 nights. And I have to say that I'm very impressed with it, especially for the price. The price is absolutely phenomenal with this sleeping pad. When this pad goes on sale in a couple of days, you will find more information at the link down in the description box. It will sell for $60 for the insulated version, $50 for the non-insulated version, and that price is very impressive. When it comes to three season to four season sleeping pads, I mean, gosh, you're looking to spend at least double, even more so in a lot of cases. So for this price, you are getting one heck of an awesome sleeping pad. Trust me on that. Over the nights that I've used this, about 14 nights, about the coldest temperatures we got, because it is still summertime, was about 48 degrees. At 48 degrees, still comfortable. I will do a follow-up long-term review with the sleeping pad and let you know how it performs when it gets cold. But we have some time before that happens, so I can only base my review on the conditions that I have right here in North Carolina. So there you go. 
Now, based upon other reviews, which I've seen for the original Climate Static V insulated sleeping pad, which you can find, the other model, which this is based upon, people use the sleeping pad into the third season, to the fourth season, with no issues at all. And I don't expect there to be any issues when it comes to cold. One thing that I really like about this sleeping pad are these baffles. Very, very nice. Uh, also, there's no noise when moving around on this. Very minimal. Some sleeping pads sound like crackers, like you're laying on a bag of chips or something. Not here. I love the side baffles. They do a good job of kind of hugging your body when you're laying on this, and that keeps you centered in the middle of the pad itself. This is a very stable sleeping pad. Never did I feel like I was going to roll to one side or the other. No issues with air leaking at all. No issues with durability. I do have to say this though. I am very delicate and very careful with my gear. I always throw down a piece of plastic if I'm sleeping out underneath the stars. I just make sure to pay attention to what I'm doing. With that being said, no issues with durability at all. Very impressive. Most of the time I use this in my tent. I did happen to throw this into a hammock and it was very comfortable to be honest with you. I enjoyed using it. Now, when it comes to the pros and cons, let's talk about those right now. First pro, lightweight, extremely lightweight. Small footprint, it's a small size, but yet it can handle someone who's much bigger. Extremely easy to blow up. Very, very easy. Literally, nine breaths with these old lungs here, blew it up fully. Very impressive. With most sleeping pads, you blow, you blow, you blow, and then you wanna pass out, right? You know what I'm talking about. Very good warmth, as far as I could tell, right now in the summertime. Definitely stayed warm. Sometimes I would just use a fleece blanket with this sleeping pad and I would be very comfortable. You have the heat from the pad bouncing back, you have the blanket, perfect. Stare at the sky, the stars all night long, thumbs up, right? Another pro is the lifetime warranty. That is awesome. Additional pro, as I mentioned, the baffles here on the side do a good job of keeping you in the middle of this sleeping pad. Also, the thickness here is adequate, two and a half inches, I never had any issues with being uncomfortable with any bones pushing into the ground, anything like that. Thumbs up. With that being said, this is not the, moving to the cons, this is not the thickest sleeping pad out there. There are definitely thicker pads that are heavier out there, which will give you even more cushion. Moving on to the next con, the baffles here. This is a slight con, really, just something that needs to be mentioned. You feel them when you're laying on this. You will definitely sense it, especially when you inflate this to the max. What I've learned is if you let a little bit of air out, it kind of smooths out. It gets a little bit more comfortable. Something to try, right? But yeah, with the design of the baffles, you feel them more than you do on other sleeping pads. The next con deals here with the deflation inflation valve. In regards to deflating the sleeping pad, it takes a while to do so. It's not the quickest out there. As Soon as you open the valve, you will have to squeeze all the air out and then fold it up, roll it up, put it in the stuff sack. It takes a little bit of time, which I will show you right now. So as you saw there, the compression bag, the storage bag, adequate size, you can easily roll it up and shove it in there. It's not very tight. So yeah, that's definitely a thumbs up. Nothing is worse than having an extremely small stuff sack and trying to fit this gigantic sleeping pad into it. So thumbs up for climate there. They did a good job. So folks, let's wrap this up. Is it a hit or is it a miss? Guys, this is a hit. This is an absolute hit. I am very, very impressed with this sleeping pad, especially for the price. Mass Drop, Climate, they combine forces to make an ultra light sleeping pad. The lightest sleeping pad that Climate has ever made. Everybody loves Climate. I receive messages all the time from people say, hey, check this out, check out that from Climate, this from Climate, that from Climate, and so on. So yeah, we know that they're popular, especially because of the value. The value is so incredibly good. I have Thermarest sleeping pads, which I like equally to this one right here which weigh more and they cost a lot more than this one right here. I think this sleeping pad is for the ultralight mindset for someone who is looking for a minimalist approach. That individual who wants comfort, who doesn't want to spend a ton of money all at the same time, but wants a really good performing sleeping pad, that's what you have right here. That's why it's not the longest sleeping pad. That's also why it's not the widest sleeping pad. 
it fits that majority of people. Very, very smart, guys. Very, very smart. For the individual who's looking for a good three to four season sleeping pad that will not break the bank, who also wants to go lightweight at the same time, this right here, guys, is a terrific option to consider. So with that being said, if you are interested in this sleeping pad, head down to the description box. You'll find a link to the Mass Drop website where in a couple days, this thing will be ready to go for you guys to purchase. If anybody has a question for me, you know what to do. Drop them down below. I will do my best to address them. Now, going back to the Mass Drop website, you will find a direct link to this sleeping pad in the description box down below. I see it right there to you. Anyway, you can head on over there, get more information about what Mass Drop is and more information about this sleeping pad. Mass Drop and Climate, thank you guys for sending this out to me, for letting me test this out. You guys got a hit, good product. Until next time, everybody, take care, be well, strength and honor.